today you are learning how to fix the issue of not getting your electric checker to charge properly. To make sure we have the same problem, let's quick do a quick test. The problem we are solving today, if you get that is super strength, that is not what we're intending to do. Um, here we go. <laughs> Basically, um, you can see my tractor has very low charge here. I am unable to get my tractor to charge no matter what I do. I can get close, I can get far. It does not matter. I cannot keep it charging no matter what I do. Okay, that's the issue we have. You can see on the left side, it's supposed to have an extra layer of drop down. So if you can click like R or your refuel button and it doesn't work, this is what we're solving. To prove to you how easy it is, we're gonna do no cuts whatsoever. It is so simple to follow. Okay, first step, you're gonna wanna save your game. So we're gonna save and we're going to quit game and go back to the main menu, okay? From the main menu, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit options. We're going to go to the second option here, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our frame rate limit down to 60. Why this works, uh, it's fairly simple, but when you're coding in something that has to be real time, the only way you can truly get real time into the game rather simply is just to lock it to your frames per second. So most systems, like if you take like a PS3, PS4, you know, they're running at 30 frames per second, maybe 60 frames per second. Um, so it's super easy just to code it to the frame rate, which is why this is going to work for us, okay? So here you can see we are getting into the game. Let's get to our tractor. And now when we click our start charging button, you can see truly that we have a time until fully charged at eight minutes, 55 seconds. Um, it takes approximately 10 minutes for a tractor to charge. Uh, with part of that being when you rejoin the game, uh, most of your tractors default to 10% charge. You will get charged fuel costs for that, but regardless this is the way to fix it so the way i use it is i will drop my fps to 60 or 30 whatever it is i will charge my tractors that need to be charged and then i will simply save the game back out turn it back up to my desired frame rate and then play the game if you guys found this helpful i encourage you to check out some other content uh, it's not so much tutorial based but more so just let's play based where if i find some cool stuff i share it and we have a good time other than that thanks for checking it out see you later